YouTube, it's Megas Hickey Star 221, and I am here today to bring you with the very first one of these guys in a while. It's the Super Forum of Super of uh, Metal Sonic. That's what I'm calling it, at least. It is is here is a here's another one, right? Uh, and then there's also Metal Sonic, my Metal Sonic. So let's get started. Uh, First, I used uh, Bionicle pieces as a base for them. It is here factory torso with armor plates and two pipes. I glued on to the little circle parts on the ends of them. Yeah, uh, I, I, there's one with the legs. So I thought it, it would be weird if I just explained, like, show, even though I show you the pieces. So I'm not going to explain that, but when it gets something complicated, I will explain it. There are the two legs put onto the body. Um, there's another picture of them. Um, now there's an open hole right near that sphere you click other items or armor plates onto where you're going to put hot glue into that and put a pipe in there, a uh, tube in there. As I said before, I'm not going to explain how to build this. This is the right arm of his, like the right arm of him, not to us. Like. Like in the way like I'm shooting it. I had to glue on a third finger. I also had to glue on a fourth finger, but I don't do that until I do the foam. Um, the left arm, you just follow the build that's gonna be shown. And on both arms, I'm sorry, I forgot to include this. That little armor plate needs to be added to the bottom. And in this picture, I accidentally put them on the top. All of the armor pieces that I show here are all made out of craft foam. And there's that other finger I was talking about. Um, so they're just pieces of craft foam that I wrapped around certain parts. You can copy it the way I did, or you can do it your own way. That's just how I did it. And there's a picture of that is just like put over it, armor over the gun. The spikes are made out of solder, which hot, which I put hot glue over it and a piece of craft foam around the bottom of it. The solder is bendable, which will help it in case anything snaps off. And I use it for a lot of other things in this build. So pay attention to that solder because it's going to be really useful. Um, Hopefully it, it won't burn or anything because it's literally a paper clip, just a little more flexible. Next is the crotch area, which is wrapped in foam, leaving holes for the tubes to come out of. And then I made a piece of foam, in like a skinny piece of it, and glued it into the shape of a circle, glued it down, and colored the inner part of it green and filled it with hot glue to make like a diamond effect. The tail is a piece of solder connected to a foam cylinder with the same glue green technique on the end. And at the tip of the tail is another piece of foam with hot glue over it to make the right shape. Then after that, I just put the foam armor pieces over it. So now um, it's flexible and it's able to bend and you could like wrap figures around and stuff. It was a really great idea and I loved how I did it. So now it is a flexible tail that could be bendable in place. Almost done. Here's a reverence shot of the back. The wings are individual long pieces of foam 
But then I cut out smaller pieces of foam and put them on top of that and cut them out into the design of each wing pattern four times, then put them onto the Lego piece shown. But And then I put the solder behind each one and glued them down so they aren't flimsy. Oh, and there's another reference shot. I keep going over. I I wrote, oh, I had to rewrite, the, I had to pre-write this, that's how much. Oh god, the head. Okay, so just follow the building steps. And then when it gets to the complicated part, we'll get to that part, okay? Okay. You sculpt over the base, and then you boil it for, a, or curing it, for about 30 seconds, just because it is a larger and thicker uh, item, so it needs more time to harden. Mine unfortunately broke and had to re-glue it with hot glue. The eyes are a hot glue trick, and then the mouth is a piece of foam with the toothpicks as teeth and a solder through the middle of it to extend to the back of the Lego head base. And then of course you glue it onto the back and the mouth can now open and close so you just created a jaw mechanism for it. And then, you know, usual simple paint job and then bada bada bum bum it, it is done. Metal Overlord. I loved making this. It took me forever just because I ran out of clay. But it was a fun build. I hope you guys enjoyed. That's all for now. Comment, rate, subscribe. Bye.